here's how the story goes. Today we're going to use a beautiful wild uh, striped sea bass caught uh, yesterday afternoon in Boston. Well, we're going to start with the sea bass itself. All right, so today we're going to try to um, use this wild striped sea bass and incorporate it with some um, seasonal products from our area. One being the pumpkin, two being the honey crisp apple, we've got uh, some beautiful kale. So uh, let's get to work. We're going to break it down. Like I said, show you two different ways of uh, presentation and preparation. So now we're going to start. We're going to make some uh, french fries out of our pumpkin. We're going to just toss them in a little uh, orange juice. Flavors should complement each other, and it will also let our next uh, our rice flour adhere. Get a little salt, and pepper. So now we have a little bit of uh, baking powder, and a little bit of rice flour. Toss them up, and then we're going to put them in the fryer, vegetable oil, 350 degrees, and there's literally going to take two minutes. Okay, so our next step is we're going to throw a portobello mushroom in the oven, and we're going to roast that off for the same amount of time it's going to take the fish. So a little bit of olive oil, a little sea salt, fresh ground pepper, and that's going to go in the oven. Now that our fish has our sea bass has a nice crispy texture, we're going to toss it in the oven for about five minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, while that's cooking, we're going to create our vegetable component. Start by chopping a little kale. It's considered a power food, very good for you. Pre washed. We are going to uh, grate a little bit of fresh garlic. And we're going to take a little piece of ginger. And we're going to slice that as thin as possible so it doesn't not overpowering to the dish. All right, now we're going to use part olive oil and part butter for flavor. And we're going to throw these ingredients into the pan. This should only take uh, two, three minutes to cook. Everything should be done at the same time at this point. All right, so now we're going to work with another product that's right in season right now and beautiful. It's the honey crisp apple, one of my favorites. Now we're going to uh, leave them in big chunks because we want them to uh, want them to hold their texture. We also have some nice fresh nuts here. We're going to add to the pan. Now we're going to add two uh, flavoring components. We're going to add a little bit of truffle oil to the kale and a little bit of white wine of your choice. Really doesn't really matter. Use sparingly. As you know, truffle oil can very quickly overpower a nice piece of fish. Cool. Now we're just going to let that white wine uh, reduce a bit and then we're going to uh, start the plating. So ready to go to the plate. We're going to start by using the roast portobello mushroom as a base. And we're going to stuff it with the apple and kale mixture. Hinted with truffle oil. These are all fall flavors that should blend with the sea bass quite nicely. Okay, now we're going to add the sea bass to the dish. Nice thick piece right there. And we're going to add our pumpkin fries, which as you can see turned out nice and crispy because of the rice flour. Just a little garnish, orchid petals. Baby asparagus tips. <clears throat> and we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of uh, lemon infused olive oil. Should bind all the flavors. And there you go. There's our pan seared sea bass. 
with our fall inspiration of pumpkin fries, honey crisp apples, and uh, sauteed kale.